Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World. Today we are back on the Midland Main Line, which is fair to say I am enjoying this uh, this route. I know it's not the best, I know there's quite a few bugs and uh, glaringly obvious things that aren't right, but I am really enjoying the route itself. Uh, I did try doing this scenario easy trip last night just to, you know, just to do it and it did crash halfway through so I don't know if there is some bugs that were outstanding there. Uh, maybe that needs looking at but uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing the can't make your mind up scenario. It's one of the first routes for this game where I am going to probably complete all the scenarios which uh, says a lot about it. So, this scenario can't make your mind up. You're running a service in classic British conditions in decisive weather. We're going to be in the class 158 and it's on the Midland main line. Now I don't know if that said we were starting in Nottingham or we were driving to Nottingham but yeah hopefully it's going to be an absolutely brilliant scenario. I do like driving the 158. Having said that I like driving the HST as well. It's, it is good. Right passenger service to Matlock today. What an introduction that is. Reports suggest unpredictable weather. Be careful and monitor line conditions. Excellent. Uh, right, there we go. We'll pop it in neutral for the time being. What have we got on uh, on the front? No headlights. Uh, right, hang on. What's Oh, what's happening? Why are they... Have I accidentally put like some sort of hazard lights on or something? I have. Clever. Day. Right, what, what time is it? It's 12 o'clock. It's lunchtime. So we'll go with day headlights, I think. And we're off to Derby. So we're running a Nottingham to Derby. And we're a four car! We're a double set, everybody! Wow! That's good. That means we need to stop right down the end of all the platforms. We'll pop the GSMR on. Uh, right, okay. Other than that, I think we're more or less ready to go. Does the DRA work? It does. Lovely. Right, off we go. Of course, the guard is shutting the doors there. Off we go. Again, still not convinced about those sounds, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confident that they'll get better. Oh, hang on. Bit of uh, bit of sanding required. There we go. We're off. I like how the sander lights up when it's time to press it. This is going to be quite difficult, I think. I really don't want to slide through any of these stations. Oh, we're going ever so slightly downhill, so we'll just pop a bit of braking on. Should put the uh, the wiper on slow. I know it does absolutely nothing, but we'll put it on slow anyway. Oh wow! Look, trains coming the other way. Oh, it's snowy. It's uh, yeah. Look at that. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's go from that angle. Ah, what's happening? I wanted a nice picture with them all in. Like with the 158, the HST. I don't think I got a nice picture, but uh, hey ho. Right, there we go. Let's not spin the wheels too fast. We'll we'll go for a bit of notch five. So we're stopping at Beeston. I think it's an all-stop service, isn't it? Whoops. Beeston, Long Eaton, Spondon, and Derby. No, so it's not an all-stop service because we don't stop at uh, Attenborough. Apparently there's quite a lot of work being done on the 158 as well uh, to bring it up to uh, to speed. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this develops. And if this is the general level of quality we're getting from Skyhook Games, then you know what? Continue developing, guys, because I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. Like I say, it's not the best. Is it as good as Train Sim Classic? Probably not. But hey, ho, for Train Sim World, I am more than happy with this. Right, hang on, let's just ease off a bit because it's going to 40 when we uh, when we nip over the points here. We'll keep it on notch 4, see if we can keep notch 4. We're going to obviously go over again, aren't we? We'll drop to notch 3. And then when we get on here, it should go up to 80. Come on, don't click over to 41 and yellow. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought we'd get there. Right, full power. We're not going to get to 80 mile an hour before Beeston, are we? I mean, I think that's more or less certain. I don't think the wipers as well on 158s, I don't think they go there back and stop. The, the slow not just constantly go backwards and forwards, and the fast just go ridiculously backwards and forwards. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. 
please do correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's a good route as well because you can drive Nottingham to Leicester on the 158 which is like, what, takes you about 50 minutes to an hour to do an all stop service and then you've got the nice little Nottingham to Derby section so you can, if you, if you don't really want to drive a long route, you know, you just want a little hop, you can drive that, so obviously, the <coughs> excuse me, there's the HST that allows you to do a fast intercity service, there's just quite a lot you can do with this route. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm surprised they haven't got, like, freight work on it, because there is a bit of, uh, you know, if we if we look at the map, there is, like, the freight loop here. I'm assuming this is freightish. You know, you could drive some sort of freight just from end to end, not stopping anywhere, if, you know, if that was what it is. Have we actually got... We've got no times to be at any of these stations, so we'll tech it steady. Just coast a little bit now. One mile, right, let's start braking, because I have a horrible feeling we are going to slide on uh, on this. And I think we might have left it a little bit late for the old braking. Oh, it's sliding. <laughs> yep, keep, just keep braking, like that, that is good. Now I feel like we're braking too much. <laughs> I can never get it right, I tell you. But what we're not going to do is miss any stations today. We're going to go straight, you know, and, and stop everywhere that we are meant to stop. There's probably train drivers watching this thinking, yeah, you've completely... Oh, hang on, what's happened there? They're probably watching thinking, no, you, you're really quite terrible at this, Joe. Don't quit your day job. Don't forget, you are a forecast. We could be, you know, we should be able to put a post-it note like on the, just slap bang in the middle of the windscreen, you know, just a four. I like the fact it gives you the option to be a forecast though. That's that's lovely. Ah, what's just happened there? The weather has perked up immeasurably. Let's have a picture. No, don't don't take pictures when you're coming into the train station, the railway station even. When you come into a stand, is even better. You know, you, this is the bit you should really be focused at. I think we're fully accommodated, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay, it's a slow and steady stop, but we've stopped and that's all that matters. Bob it in neutral and the guard has opened the doors. I say the guard's opened the doors, of course. We're fully aware that there is no guard functionality with this. I'm hoping one day we might see guard functionality on Trains in World. I like how you get the little snow build-up in the top of the 158 as well there. That is lovely. Really nice. It's, it's pretty. It's always been pretty, Trains in World. Right, hang on. Turn the, turn the wipers off. There we go. Right, hopefully we're not going to slide. Oh, we've slid. Oh, no. Straight back to notch five. So it's got wheel slip protection. That is good. Right, we'll just we'll just try a bit of, bit of notch three. Problem is, of course, that these do get the snow. As soon as it's snowing, they get the snow on the plows like that. Obviously, you probably wouldn't have the snow like that because it's the the back of the unit also will have the snow on the plow. Whereas, obviously, it's not been hitting the snow as much as it, so it probably wouldn't have that. But never mind. Perhaps I'm just been a bit nitpicky there. Try a bit of notch seven. Come on, full speed ahead. Oh, there we go. Slap that sander. Oh, it's snowing again. They really weren't lying when they said it can't make its mind up. Oh no, the windscreen wiper's doing that thing where it doesn't actually wipe any of the uh, any of the snow, the moisture off the windscreen. Of 
What about if we put it in fast mode? Nope, it's still not doing it. You were doing it earlier, why have you stopped doing it now? I can't see where we're going. I mean, it's, it's just getting worse. I can't see where we're going or what we're doing. If I come outside and go back in... Oh, it's cleared it all off. That's good. Oh, hang on. Wrong button. <laughs> Pressing tab. Oh, right. It's working again now. So it seems like it is a little bug if for some reason your windscreen isn't clearing with the wipers. If you go outside and then pop back in, it seems to fix it. That's really, really useful to know, actually. Ooh, this is uh, Attenborough. Not stopping here, of course. Straight through. What's it going to look like if I uh, if I stand on the platform? Wow! Oh, I love how it kicks the snow up behind as well. Oh no, it's it's bugged out again on the windscreen. There we go. Work again, please. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. Right, so we've got a 30 mile an hour coming up within one and a half miles. So we do need to sort of action that at some point. I think at about a mile we'll put it in step one and we'll, uh, yeah. We'll see how we go from there. So obviously the, the line round to the right here goes somewhere else. You probably have that. Is it Barrow Hill maybe? Roundhouse and all that? Is that where that goes? I'm not entirely sure. But it goes somewhere else. I know it's not the Erewash Valley. Because it's not. Because we'd have gone right out of Nottingham earlier. It's probably on the Just Trains Midland Main Line route, isn't it? 158 coming the other way. Give him a little wave. A little toot. There doesn't seem to be, uh, there doesn't seem to be any scenarios where you're, you're coupling and uncoupling units. I mean, obviously, it's possible to run as a four-car, because we are running as a four-car, but, uh, yeah. It'd be really nice if, like, in one of the scenarios, you could have gone from Derby to Nottingham, coupled up onto another unit that was already sat waiting, and then run as a four-car back to Leicester. Or just run as a two-car there, coupled up and run as a, uh, a four-car back to Derby, you know what I mean? Little things like that, just, you know, they're, they're good scenario content, aren't they? It just seems like that's not been implemented on this. Maybe I'm mistaken. You know, I've not done all the scenarios yet. That hour-long one that I tried to do earlier, that might have it in. I don't actually know how you uncouple something on this. I guess you press the actual button, don't you? On Trends and Classic, you had to... Uh... Is this an approach control signal, I wonder? Right, well, it's going down to 10. In 700 yards, we'll uh, we'll just start breaking a bit more. Oh, this is the corner where the 10 mile an hour limit things like slap bang in the middle of a field, isn't it? There we go. We'll just uh, take it nice and steady. In fact, we'll slow down to less than 15 because then hopefully that uh, that really annoying. Where the, the thingy activates, where is it? Do we not have it on these? Oh, the, up there. Oh, right, okay, yeah, it is approach control. So we've got a green, but obviously it goes to 10. So we'll just coast. Again, we've not really got anywhere to be, have we? Because there's no timings. You can just sort of turn up as and when. Long Eaton, Spondon and Derby. Let's have a uh, let's have a bit of that. These Midlands trains livery really was lovely, wasn't it? I just think it's so more bright and colourful than what we've got now. These Midlands railway livery, it, it looks dirty really quickly, doesn't it? These Midlands trains livery, even now, looks brilliant. When you see like a one five eight in East Midlands railway coupled up to one five eight in East Midlands trains. The East Midlands trains livery is just so much cleaner usually. I don't know if that's the type of paint they've used, if it's vinyl versus paint. 
I don't know, but yeah, have you ever noticed that? Is it really 10 mile an hour over here, or is, is this some sort of oversight? Because it does seem frightfully slow. <laughs> like, really, really slow. The 158 is really, really good to drive, isn't it? And when you think back to the fact, I mean, I was train simming back in the uh, the MSTS, Microsoft Train Simulator days. I remember the uh, the Ben Laws 158 with uh, Anton Courtney May doing all the repaints. God, that was a while ago, wasn't it? You think how far train sims actually come on since then? Ridiculous. Right, so obviously we're not going to put it in notch 7 because we are approaching Long Eaton. I've already missed it once on this channel. I'm not going to miss it again. That seems a bit close. Yep, yeah, that, that bridge does actually cut through the 158. Okay. Yeah, there's there's a, there's a bridge down here as well. I did it in another video, didn't I, where uh, the, the 158 is clipped. Uh, it smashes into the bridge. Long Eaton. Here we come, everybody. Should we keep notch one? Maybe, maybe a bit of notch two. Step two, even. Notches are accelerating. Steps are breaking. Yep. Don't get the two confused. They'll end up in a lot of trouble. There we go. Oh, we're sliding a bit, but it's fine, it's fine. Right, so we've stopped bang on the stop marker. Lovely. I don't know what you guys are waiting for here. There's no other train due after me. I am the last one of the day. Possibly. No, of course I'm not the last one of the day. I do like though on Trends in World how when it's um, you know when it's raining they all get the brollies out. There, ah, what's happened? I closed the doors and all of a sudden it's become massively bright. Obviously, I'm having to play guard. Try a bit of notch four. Do you like that? Okay, notch four it's coping with. Notch five. Yeah, the uh, the wheel slip protection hasn't kicked in. Good. Right, we'll take it to 20 mile an hour and then I think full blast into notch seven. Go! Get that sander clicked in. Yeah, oh, I'm seasoned professional at this 158 business. Take it off. That'll, that's about right. Yep, lovely. So, of course, now we've gone round the triangle. That's that 10 mile an hour bit. And we're now whizzing away to Derby. I can't believe Spondon's so close to Derby. I mean, we're practically there. By the time we get to Spondon, aren't we? Oh, right, so we can do 115 down here. I mean, obviously, being in the 158, 115 is never going to be achievable, but we'll get to a solid 90, probably. Yeah, I've mentioned it in one of my videos before. It would be fantastic, wouldn't it, if... Um if the good people at Skyhook Games continued to expand this East Midlands route, you know, instead of coming out with a rapidly different route, or massively different route, 
just continue to expand this. New DLC as add-ons. Wouldn't it be great if you could drive all the way from, like, Nottingham to Liverpool on this? In a 158 East Midlands. Up the Hope Valley and down to Warrington and that. It'd be absolutely brilliant. I mean, I don't know what Trainsim World can handle in terms of routes. Because I know that that's why they expanded to Trainsim World 3. They said something about Trainsim World 2 couldn't really handle the long routes. Trainsim World 3 can support long routes. I, pff, I don't know. Struck me as a bit of a money-making exercise, personally. Oh, well, you don't get a free upgrade. You, you have to buy this entirely new game. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, cheers, guys. But, hey-ho, we carry on. We're actually getting up to a bit of speed here, aren't we? a yellow signal coming up, but we'll pretend not to notice that yet, because obviously in real life you wouldn't be blessed with the uh, with the hood, would you? You'd just go racing round the corner. Oh, it's 2.3 miles to spawn them. Flipping it, where did that distance go? Oh, wow, look at that HST with the snow flying off. Now, if this was really good, when we go through the snow, we'd get... Oh! Okay, yeah, that's not brilliant, is it? We're going to say when that snow hits us from the HST, we would get a wet window at the front. No innuendo intended there. Um, but yeah, we'll cover our, our window at the front, our windscreen, with snow. Obviously, it's not that clever, is it? Come on, we're getting to 90. 87. 88. No, I'm bottling it. I'm bottling it. We're not getting to 90. We'll go for notch 2 and then back into notch 1, because apparently that means in notch one it breaks more. I don't know if uh, my driver friends and colleagues are spinning me a, a complete lie there, but uh, we'll go with it. Probably sat laughing, thinking that idiot he'll believe anything. Ease off a little bit. It's lovely, isn't it? The, the game is actually so picturesque. For all its faults, it's very, very appealing to the eyes, isn't it? You know, like that little river by the side there. It's a lovely route, this route. The Midland Main Line is a lovely route. Albeit the lesser of the three main lines. And it's all about the East Coast, and it's all about the West Coast, isn't it? The Midland Main Line's always sort of lived in the shadows of its, uh, of the larger two either side of it. Look at that. Ooh, we're a little bit too good at this. Oh, the platform on the other side is massively shorter than it is on this side. I wonder why that is. It's like they upgraded half of it and then just couldn't be bothered. I think, personally, we wouldn't stop here. I think I've said this before, haven't I? I think we'd stop behind the signal. And this bit of platform would be redundant. I, I honestly don't think, particularly with there being a level crossing there... God, I love it. That door goes with the right bang, doesn't it, when uh, when it opens? It's what I remember about 158s. Sometimes the doors would just be so loud. What about that there? That's quite a nice photo, isn't it? Problem is, is I can't use that as a screenshot, because I always use white text below, don't I? And you won't be able to see it on the snow. I could do that, but then there's people in the way. Is, is that meant to be the guard? No. 
No, just got an East Midlands Railway coloured uh, top on. It would be good if they added the guard functionality, wouldn't it? Oh, hang on. There we go. Come on, keep it going. Hold that speed. 10 mile an hour, let's go for a cheeky notch 5. Oh, it's become very sunny all of a sudden, hasn't it? Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, we've lost it. Oh, it's nice. Come on, let's get the sun on that front. You know, not until a bit further down. Let's just see. We've not got any sort of... Uh, ah, it's two miles to Derby. That might work, actually, if we... Uh, if we wait, hang on. About as good as you're getting, I think. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so in one mile it's going down to 75. I don't think that's going to bother us really, is it? Oh, it's really pretty with all the snow out. That's lovely. Over a mile to go until Derby. Are you absolutely sure I don't need to be braking now? Do you know what? I might just coast. We'll just coast the rest of the way. Mm, we've got a yellow signal coming up here. Double yellows. So we've got 30 on the horizon. How far have we got? Oh, we're laughing. Right, we'll keep at 55 then for the time being. Because that's uh, 850 yards away. And like I say, there's no time that we have to be there for. I imagine we have to arrive at, what, 12.30? Oh, hang on. Right, so the next signal is probably red at this rate. So we'll, we'll slow right down to about 30. And then we're in plenty of time to stop, aren't we? Although, to be fair, it's saying that the next signal's green. Oh, it is really pretty, isn't it, this game? So pretty. Look at that. So that would be the ideal money shot there, wouldn't it? But with all the snow coming out of the back. Oh, it's just lovely. Let's just, uh, oh hang on, I, I thought, oh right, okay, that's why, it's because it was bringing us down, because that's a red, but with a position light. You see the two little white lights on the left there? That's a position light. A lot of you watching probably already know that, so apologies if I'm uh, teaching you to suck eggs there. So we'll continue round into Derby. I love it. I love it. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Hopefully we got a nice gold medal on that challenge. I, uh, I can't imagine why we didn't. But, uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do show your appreciation by clicking that like button. Uh, do consider subscribing as well if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for Train Sim World today. God, it really does suit that train, doesn't it? The, the 158 suits the livery so much. Hey, dear me. Yeah, we're definitely be, uh, we're going to be coming back to Train Sim World 3, of course. So do remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Because, uh, again, I love this route. And if, um, what they called? 
I've completely forgotten what the call that made it. You mentioned it earlier. Come on, you idiot. Think. Think. If the people who made this route <laughs> are going to continue developing uh, routes and traction like this, then, uh, yeah, absolutely, we're going to be revisiting it on the channel. Why can I not remember the name? Flipping heck, Joe. You've done so well today. I don't know. Yeah, fingers crossed. I shall see you all next time, everybody. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.